Did you feel harassed today? I didn't like how I was treated today. You know my dad? He likes blowing things out of proportion. He looks for the slightest reason to throw a party. But I'm glad you came. Where do we stand? Pardon? You invite me to your parents' house. They invite the entire community. I'm just curious. Where do we stand? We're here now. In the naked. I don't think you're sure about what you're saying. You can't speak on my behalf. Fair. It's getting cold. You should go inside for warmth. I don't want to lose you. I have to go home. Wait. Please stay. Stay with me. I must go home. You don't have to go. It's almost midnight. Welcome back to Good Morning Kenya. I am Mike Itai, and of course, we have nothing but the best of entertainment. This is indeed Entertainment Thursday. And of course, we're joined by none other, by Celestine Kishuhi. Kashohi. Let me tell you one thing before even we continue. Pronouncing my mother tongue names as Ingene, like mine, Irogo. Oh, Am yes. I pronouncing it properly? Yes. <laughs> so we'll be back with her. Uh, she's about to tell us more about Film Connect, something very exciting that is happening uh, within the film industry. It's her initiative. And of course, about her acting career and her life in gospel music. But before that, let's take a quick break. Welcome back to Good Morning Kenya. We're joined by Celestine Yashohe. Mm -hmm. I did well. Yes. Kudos <laughs> to me. <laughs> and uh, let's just uh, jump straight into it. You're one of the most talented artists. Let me call you an artist because you, you cover, s okay, it's gospel music. You do yes. gospel music. Yes. You mentor yeah. young uh, actors. And of course, you act. Mm -hmm. And you do so well in all these fields. Thank you. How did you get into acting first and foremost? Because I think people know you better as Selena. Mm. So how did you get into this? Before we talk about getting that role and that part and how it changed your life. Um, it's, uh, it's just from way back when I was young, the things I was doing. I participated in so many, you know, drama festivals, music, you know, in schools, the, the things that we love most, your yeah, drama, because we take a class and all mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So I, I really did them in high school, uh, in primary school, in church, in high school, and then I think mostly that's what you know built um, what I am today. Because mm -hmm. it was a lot of trying and trying and trying and trying and building your confidence. Um, people telling you, oh my God, you're, you're doing so well. You can do this and you're a young girl. So you're obviously like, oh yes, I can do this. And it's a motivation. So uh, after that, uh, out of high school, I, I loved set books because they would come to school and you know act uh, the literature books that we were doing. Kina, Choksa, Kol, Damunyeusi. So when I came out of high school, I, I knew I wanted to, to do something with set books. So that's why I started, like professionally. I did set books uh, for two terms, and then the next time, I, I was like, I need to do TV. Mm. Yeah, because um, 
when I was a, a little bit younger, I I thought I would be a broadcaster, like a newscaster, you know. So I, I used to look at Julie Gishuru and mm. I used to be like, oh my God, this woman is so beautiful. She's so well collected. You know, the way the package, like her, when she comes on TV, I'm like, where the English? Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. So I, I really wanted to be like her. And um, I, I knew I was going to be on TV. So acting came first, broadcasting, kind of. Mm. Yeah. Would you ever get into it? Uh, as for now, it's not something I, I really, it's not, it's not on my forefront. Mm. Yeah. Because I feel like you, you would do really well. <laughs> I'm told that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe later, but for mm. now, um, I don't think it's something that I would want now. Maybe hosting uh, just like this show. Mm -hmm. Yes, this I would, but not like news, news. Mm. Yeah. Now, in terms of the acting, you said you, you found the bug from an early age. Yeah. And you built your confidence. Then eventually you were like, mm. I can do TV. Yeah. Is there a particular show you watch or a particular actor you watch? Because as we were talking, you said you watched Julie Gishu. Mm. You like her, you know, her poise. Mm. But in terms of acting, is yeah. there a particular actor you were like, I can do this? Uh, I, I think what I remember is watching Kina Tahidi Hai. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> As in that, that was dope when I was growing up, Tahidi Hai, mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Let me, let me say those that, that I can remember. And I remember watching Tahidi Hai, there was Tanya, there was uh, mm. Sheikhs. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I used to look at them and I'm like, uh, maybe when I'm done with high school, I'll just jump in to Tahiti. But it's not that easy. You have to go through auditions, yeah. rejection, and that. Uh, as in, so those are the people that I looked up to. Um, then I really didn't have someone outside the country. But those people were just like, these are my peeps. I want to be like them. Yeah. yeah. And they, they opened a lot of doors. I remember when it was like almost like a wave of young actors who are now yes. on TV. Mm. You know, so I remember a lot of us, we were watching and we were like, I want to be a star just yes. like them. Mm. Uh, did you ever feel like that or was it more about the art? Or did, did you want the lights, the glamour, or did you want um, I get your question, part. yes. Um, when you get to acting, it comes with the glamour, mm. as in, because you are the product, mm -hmm. I'm the product, mm -hmm. so you have to be glam. <laughs> as in, you, it, it, it's... It's a one straight line. So, like when I when I look at when I was looking at Julie Gishuru, I felt like she's polished English. Her pose, her mm. as in her demeanor, everything. So, when you get to acting, and even when you look at celebrities, like there's just a thing with them. Mm -hmm. There's a, the, them being stars, uh, their demeanor, everything. So, I really. First of all, I really wanted to look different, and mm. they, they look different, they look amazing, they're beautiful, they're well kept. Mm -hmm. that, that's one of the, <laughs> the motivations that I had, and definitely now um, giving characters life and, and just wanting to know what does this, uh, how does this happen, how, how is a set, um, how do you pretend to be someone else? How mm. do you give someone else life? How, how do you act with someone and really be friends or pretend someone is your mother or mm. your husband? Oh, act yes. like you're intimate. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so I think all those things combined uh, really pushed me to doing what I do. Let me ask you this. Uh, mm -hmm. During your acting phase, mm. uh, no, let me, let me put it this way instead. Yeah. Is there a challenge or a challenging day you ever felt like, eh, this acting... No, 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 like a candle for a minute. Um, Have you ever been in that moment in your acting career? I won't say that I wanted to leave because up to now I don't want to leave. It's just challenges of, um, especially when I was shooting Selena, it was mm. so hard. It was as in, it, my life was like not my life. It, mm -hmm. was, it was so much work because I used to shoot from Monday to Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm just home, relaxing. Then Monday, and then you're the main character. You're the lead. You have you have lines. You have scenes with like everyone. Mm. And you, you find an episode, unakosa kuniona some like five minutes, and there is like 26 minutes. So it was so challenging. I remember I broke down s several times because of 
ex exhaustion. Like I'm so tired. Mm. But um, how did you cope? <sighs> Mostly. I would cry. Mm. <laughs> yes, or talk to my sister, uh, talk to my then boyfriend, feel. And also, I think just love around you and uh, hanging out with people that remind you who you are before Selena. Like, because sometimes you, you would be lost, mm. and um, that's why the rolling is so important. Because I'm leaving Selena from like for five years. So you just need love around you and people that remind you who you are, and just home is my safe place. So. And how did Go you do home. that? Because I can, okay, this is my perspective from uh -huh. what I can imagine your life was. Ukienda mm. Kazini, you're looking at yourself with these big billboards everywhere. Mm. Your face, but someone else's name. It's a character. Yeah. How, how was it? Was it surreal? And how did you cope? I think the first times I was just like, wow, <laughs> and then what is happening? And then now it came to a point that I, I understood and I was like, actually, I'm in this thing. Mm. This is me. I'm doing this. And, you know, people love this Selena. And life just changed. And it, it was a lot of uh, prayer, mm -hmm. um, spending time with my people. And, you know, all of them, like my family, ah, you're doing so well, Nini. And then also them not forgetting who I am. Mm. Because you need people to... Yani, I can imagine it's it easy grounded. to fall in love with who <laughs> Selena is and forget Yes, Celeste. yes. So, mm, um, I, I really had people on my side mm -hmm. and just reminding me who I am. And also just knowing this is happening now. Mm. So, keep calm, collected, and just see how things go. Yeah. Now, there's the aspect of the uh, boyfriend come. Mm. The husband, yes. Phil, he was in your life <laughs> watching all this happen. Yeah. Watching all this happen for you. Mm. And of course, there's that journey. Uh, it's like you merged mm. in terms of not just, uh, you know, on a personal uh, way, but also in terms of career because you yeah. started singing yes. gospel music. Yes. <laughs> Who inspired you? Was it Phil? Um, I did you, did I you was... watch him and you were like, I need to join you in this ministry? Not really because... I was singing before, but mm. in church, um, in you know, even in, in theater when I was doing set books, we would sing and just pass time in the bus. We would, we would sing so much, and also <clears throat> uh, my my former church, um, Redeemed Comarok. Mm -hmm. So when when I met him, I was like, wow, he can sing so well. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, by the way, I see. <laughs> but I've never done anything, like, professionally. Mm. Um, and then um, I think we had dated for almost two years. Mm -hmm. and, and he never knew you could sing? No, he knew. Oh. But he was just releasing his own songs. And I was like, he told me, by the way, we can do something. Mm -hmm. And then he writes mm -hmm. so many things. He just told me, listen and tell me which song you don't us to sing together. Mm. So we had, like, five or four. So we chose Nenanami. And uh, we did it. He actually wrote it, and then he gave me the second verse, and then that's how we did the song. Mm. Yes. W how was that transition? Did you feel like it's a different world, becoming a gospel singer, from the world you knew as an actor? Or did you feel like there's a connect, everything is just merging so well? I think there's, there's no much of a difference, mm. uh, because creativity is needed. The only difference is... People don't <laughs> know how much work mm. musicians put in mm. studio, then you have to, to, to record, and then you have to shoot, <clears throat> and then you have to push the song. I think there's so much that go on that we don't know. So he knows much more than I do. So I was just following his lead and just, okay, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. hey. I, I think yeah. he, you know, it also worked out having a successful gospel artist in the house Yes. to show you the ropes. <laughs> yes. And uh, in terms of the recognition, the people who knew you as Selena, mm. did they accept Celestine, the gospel singer? Or yes. was it more difficult to accept you mm. as the gospel singer? They did because, mm. okay, most of my friends knew that I would sing mm -hmm. and they always were like, Mona who recording, you know, mm. even my family, like my bro, <laughs> my little bro is always like, but then you need recording. <laughs> so uh, he was like, oh my God, you recorded. And, um, them accepting me, it wasn't hard because 
ah ni vile tu recording ni vile tu huimbangi ni vile tu you know so and then now the fans um they were like surprised but also like we expected that mm -hmm. now that you're dating Phil Kimemia yeah. <laughs> it was a whole kila mtu alikuwa na perspective yake everyone has a particular opinion yes yes and you achieved so much success like i said earlier in in different aspects of your life thank you and where that comes criticism mm. how do you handle that i really don't take it to heart because mm. <laughs> there's so much because and then when you're in a place that i i, I am in this you know so many people also different personalities so sometimes even me standing like this mm. might not sit well with some other people mm -hmm. me being somewhere so I try so much um, to work with me, mm. me as Celestine, me Celestine behind closed. From yes, from mm. me, like, because mm -hmm. I can't fulfill each and every person's desires for my life. And you see, it's their desires for me, and there is me who is the driver of my life. Mm. So, and then sometimes you you play safe, um, and also. It comes to having people that are strongly, I strongly believe who you are, and they will keep you on track. Mm. So, just reminding myself, I keep on asking myself, behind closed doors, am I happy? Who is me? Like when I get into the house, <clears throat> when other people are not seeing Selena, because when you're outside, they're like the goddess, mm. the Selena, the mm. Celestine, mm -hmm. you know. But away from that, there is me. Mm in the house alone with my husband with my sisters with my dad mm -hmm. yeah so i try so much to go back to that mm. of course uh something beautiful happened last year yes mm -hmm. <laughs> let's talk about that motherhood mm. in terms of career and motherhood how mm. have you been able to juggle the two <sighs> because you, have, you know there's this career that mm. you have to keep pushing yeah there's you know phil mm. there's that relationship that you have the bond that has yes. to be sustained yeah and of course the baby yeah. yes so um last year i i became a mom mm -hmm. of a beautiful girl so it was it wasn't as easy it was challenging because first of all this is my first time and um i've never dealt with an infant like my whole life so it's it's a whole new new everything you have to be a mom you have to introduce a house help uh, we're just used to be me and phil mm -hmm. and now there's there are two new people so and then you're tired the whole time um you just need a very any support you know so i remember my sisters my sister-in-laws coming to help me and then um my nanny god bless her soul she was so nice she was just there and you know just taking care of me mm. and then um there's this whole thing of uh i'm used to working working mm -hmm, working mm -hmm. and now i'm just home you know it's like bedroom sitting room bedroom <laughs> eating as in it was a whole three months of I was telling my manager, wow, me, I need to get out. I don't know. I just need to go somewhere. And then um, uh, Phil would come and then we just, you know, drive around just to see outside. It can be depressing if, because mm. if you're used to working and then you're just in the house and it's something that you can't change. It's, I really want to take care of my baby, mm. but yo, my head is just, I don't want to stay at the same place like for three months. So after I think uh, four months, that's when I went to shoot Yala in TZ. And it was refreshing. Mm. Way, I was just like, <laughs> I am going on a set. Because I really wanted to go on a set. Mm. Yeah. It's incredible. And I think, uh, there's this thing, I think women really can have it all. Kuna kwa issue, especially in the entertainment industry, mm. they, they make it seem like, you know, you, you have to make a choice. Mm. Were you ever put in such a position that you felt like you have to make a choice? Um... I think it comes to you mm. as a person because I, I remember some people are like ah can you wait for like I, uh, an year mm. so that you can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. me I'm like yo me I will get crazy <laughs> in this house 
<laughs> and I'm like, as long as I'm going with my baby, mm -hmm. it's okay. My baby and my nanny, we go shoot, and as long as I'm getting some time, because sometimes you just need to get out of the house mm -hmm. and breathe I like other people. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't have to make a, like a choice. And also, it comes to maybe your person. It's like, by the way, if you want, you can go. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, me, by the way, me, uh, I, I really want to go out and do something. I miss a set because it's, it just brings me back to who I am before motherhood, before, you know, to what I love doing. So, but to answer your question, I think women, I don't know, especially in our industry, mm. uh, you, you just imagine you get pregnant, yes. That means it's like um, two years of your life mm -hmm. just you know mm -hmm. slowly if you are picking it's, it just somehow it just slows you down because you're tired mm -hmm. you need to take care of the baby so, so sometimes you could find people that just have a decision i'm like um for the f five years i'm not going to you know have babies or that so mm -hmm. it, it comes to you and if you can hack it which i believe you can mm -hmm. as long as you have a support system mm. Uh, but well sh good. shout out to Phil, sh good job uh, you know, <laughs> giving out that you. support. Because I, I believe that is the essence. Yes. The support system, mm. it has to be there. Yeah. Shout out to him. Mm. Now there's Film Connect, I want us to discuss it. Yes. The inception, what brought up, uh, wh why did you feel like, you know, I need to create this for people, mm. Film Connect? So Film Connect is a platform mm. that um, we we use to mentor um, upcoming actors just to share my story and show them that they can do this. Um, there's so much for them to do. So um, from when I was done with um, set books, mm -hmm. I got into some skits that uh, actors used to do. I don't know if they do now. We used to do skits, uh, a show of two hours. So the skit is one and a half hours. Uh, that is a skit that is entertaining and also um, it's called entertainment. It's entertaining and also mm -hmm. it's educating uh, school girls and school boys. That is high school. Mm -hmm. And then the 30 minutes, we would do talks. So if you're four, we would pick talk, talk, talk. And that's when I really enjoyed it. And it was so fulfilling to see girls open up and um, some stories were so sad. And just them the reason they picked me was i was like 19 and mostly they would really relate with me so when you talk to girls and they're like telling you very deep stuff and just encouraging them that was so fulfilling for me like heartwarming and feeling like actually me coming here um there's a girl there's a boy who just got something and they were losing hope and now the you know reason again so that was my starting point of feeling I can do this, I can give these girls hope, I can give anyone hope with my journey, with what I share. So Film Connect came, came up and Film Connect, Connect Africa, mm -hmm. we, we are really into mentorship and we've already done one successful mentorship at Atlanta Institute, mm -hmm. which was so amazing and so fulfilling and we are going to do more and more. Uh, let, let's yeah. talk about this. Like, for instance, if I'm someone who's, you know, interested, mm. what am I coming to receive from Film Connect? Mostly hope. Mm -hmm. Let's start from that. And learning, learning the, you know, the maneuvers of the acting industry, how you start. There's so many things that we talk about, like um, auditioning, where to get uh, casting calls, a... Uh, just an overview of how a set is and just telling people to be patient because this journey can be so discouraging mm -hmm. because it's not a, a walk in the park mm -hmm. it's it's a whole lot of things so we get deep into that uh, mostly my my journey that we i can re my journey and relate to your to your need mm -hmm. and see how we can you know get you to the next level yeah wow Mm. Impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Impressive. Thank you. How does one connect with Film Connect? You can follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. Film Connect Africa, mm -hmm. and then there's an email there, or even you can come to my Instagram, Celeste so show you Then there's an email. Uh, but when you follow Film Connect, everything that is happening, mm -hmm. you'll know. And also even my, my page or uh, my account in Instagram, you'll know what is happening on Film Connect. Mm. Yes. Awesome. Before mm. we conclude. Mm. Is there an upcoming project that uh, you want to give us some hint? I know you can tell us everything, but 
Okay, hint kidogo tu. Uh, for now eh uh, go watch Q. <laughs> I I just uh, I was done shooting Q like a month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Q is on Star Times. Uh, you can download Star Times on, and then you binge watch it. A hundred episodes, no, a hundred and three episodes. Mm. That um, that show was so amazing for me to shoot. That was the show I shot after Baby. It was crazy, but crazy beautiful because Baby mm -hmm. going to work, mm -hmm. and, and it was amazing. I really enjoyed it, and um, that was the the second big project in Kenya that I did, and go watch it and then you tell me it's beautiful mm -hmm. and what i'm doing next i'll let you know but right now mostly i'm doing film connect mentorship and um i'll let you know if i have another project a series mm. or a movie that is coming and i hope and you'll come <laughs> to good morning kenya to debut it first yes i hope so let's hope so yeah <laughs> let's hope so <laughs> thank you so much that is celestine gashoy gashoy Yes, Kasho. Uh, kudos to me. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you can connect with Film Connect at Film Connect Africa. That's on Instagram. And of course, you can also go to our page and show your support. That's at Celestine Gashohe. Mm. We'll be back after this.